You may be unaware, but there's a battle brewing inside of the theme parks. What's that battle, you may ask? They all have the audacity to think that they've got the best drink. Bad news, theme parks. There can only be one. You get it? I said brew, because we're drinking drinks today? Okay, let's go. Small disclaimer. I don't think any of them have actually made that statement, but we all know they're thinking it. Up first in Universal Studios, we have butterbeer, but not just any butterbeer. This is frozen butterbeer, also known as the correct choice. We also like the hot one, but I'm already baking under the sun. It is a billion degrees and I would die if I had a hot butterbeer right now. If you come to Universal in the summer and get a hot butterbeer, you scare me. Also, pro tip, you wanna make sure you stir that topping in. You gotta get it completely stirred in. This one, it's gonna be hard to beat. A lot of people say this tastes like cream soda and butterscotch, and I kind of agree, but it's kind of like a frosty. If you try to make this at home, it's, it's just not the same, and I'm going to be transparent. This is my favorite drink in the world. This is my favorite drink, so good luck other drinks. Next. I know what you're thinking. We're back in the wizarding world and Tyler's just gonna be funny and get another frozen butter beer. But guys, there's drinks in the wizarding world that aren't frozen butter beer. Is that another, where did you get that? Someone gave it to me. Who? Butterbeer is not the drink for Islands of Adventure, regardless how much Tyler wants it to be. I turn around for three seconds. But anyway, this is the fizzy pumpkin juice. This is an exclusive drink to this park. So you can get regular pumpkin juice over in Universal Studios, but you can only get the fizzy one here in either the Three Broomsticks or at the Hogshead Bar. And it is delicious. I think the flavor is more complex than just the normal pumpkin juice. You can taste the pumpkin flavor. It's really cinnamon-y and it's just light and refreshing. I would almost liken it, it's like lemonade on a hot day, but just a different flavor profile. In my opinion, theming is half the battle. Uh, if you're somewhere that's highly themed, the food automatically tastes better and no one does it better than the Wizarding World. Honestly though, the fizzy pumpkin juice, it was my favorite for a short stint until I saw the light that is frozen butter beer. Why is it so hot outside? Why is it so hot outside? Why is it so hot outside? <laughs> you know what? Who cares if it's hot outside? We're at Disney now. At least it's not busy. Okay, he lied. It's busy. We made it over here to Gaston's Tavern in Magic Kingdom, and this drink? We've never actually had it before. We've had a ton of people tell us that we need to get it, especially if you love apple juice. And that is one of Tyler's like top three favorite drinks in the world. So needless to say, we're really super excited about this one. It's also supposed to have hints of like marshmallow and then like mango and passion fruit on the top. I'm ready to dig in. It's hard to go for straw. Very refreshing. It's nice and frozen. It's like a slushy consistency. Oh my goodness. It tastes like frozen apple juice. I haven't really gotten any of the other flavors yet. I don't know if I need to like stir it in if there's like layers of stuff, but that is good. As the apple juice connoisseur that I am. I'm a Mott's fan. Mott's if you're listening, you know. Whew. That's sour. The drink's really good. I was hoping it'd have like a big toasted marshmallow on top. Ooh. Also, we splurged, um, you know. Made a little extra money this week. We spent the extra $6 to get the, to get the uh, souvenir cup. It's plastic. I was hoping it was something else. It's plastic. This is good. Ooh, I just got the toasted marshmallow too. Ooh. It's real good. Shout out to Disney for putting the cup and like its own plastic cup and not directly into the souvenir mug so that this stays clean. Good choice. 
Yeah. I'm not saying that there's an upset coming, but Butterbeer better have its head on a swivel. In this moment, we realized three things. One, this clip has no audio. Two, we got some drink on the camera. And three, we were running out of time. think about it, aren't we all animals? So wouldn't the entire world just be Animal Kingdom? That's something to think about while we go get a drink. We made our way over here to Pandora to get what I consider a very nostalgic drink, even though I had it for the first time about six months ago. This is the Night Blossom. Um, and it's a beautiful drink, just like the area. It's beautiful, and it's delicious. Uh, the reason I say it's nostalgic, y'all remember the Push Pops? So you had one with like Dino and Fred, um, Barney, I think was on another one. Not, not the dinosaur, like Barney from the Flintstones. This is a Flintstones Push Pop. It reminds me a lot of the, the Fred one, I think. The orange one. That was Fred. I believe so. There's something about it that has that <laughs> that same quality about it. Every time we come over here, we get one of these, or two. This is the first drink that we've had today that has boba in it, so love that. And then the other flavors in it are apple and desert pear limeade. They pair so well together. But you can also get an alcoholic version of this called a rum blossom, so it's the exact same thing, just with rum in it. And we've never personally had it, but some of our friends sing high praises of the rum blossom. That would actually make a fun video, so if y'all wanna see that, let us know down below. It has melted so quickly. It still tastes good though. Four down, two to go, we're hustling. I know we haven't talked about it, but it is hot today. Uh, it is absolutely miserable. Do you know what I like to do when it's hot? What? Like one of my favorite things to do. What? Get a drink. <laughs> It's been forever since we've been to Epcot and we're not even going to get the drink that we initially had planned when we started this this morning. We ran into some people at Magic Kingdom and we told them what we were doing today and they said there is a drink over here, like a Cosmic Rewind drink that is the best thing here in Epcot. So that's where we're headed. This is an awesome drink. No, seriously, it's... That's the name, it's called an awesome drink. It showed up about the time that Cosmic Rewind showed up. I guess it's for um, Guardians of the Galaxy. It has apple boba. I just busted. I didn't even make it to my mouth without. <laughs> you know what I'm starting to realize? Ain't Disney and Disney people like apple? Cause I think this is the third drink that we've had at Disney in a row on the best drinks list, which is it's fact, it's not like, actually that's probably, it's probably an opinion. We just got opinions from people. But, uh, best drinks, it's the third one with apple. Looks a lot like the night boss. Way more sour than the night boss. Like I like it, it's so sour. I love it, so. <laughs> I'm still laughing at like your face. You were saying that you liked it, but your facial oh, expression. No, that, that's my I like it face. <laughs> did not say that you liked it. Right. I love how this has boba in it, and they just gave us like a normal straw. Like that's so not. So I picked it up with my hand. That's not going to fit. Here, I'll use the straw. It is really good. I just looked up the flavors that are in this, and it's apple. It's got lemonade and desert pear, so it is more similar to the Night Blossom than we thought it was. But it's good. Definitely has apple in it. You know how everybody says like they don't know what the magic, like there's something magical about um, Disney? Mm -hmm. It's frozen apple drinks. <laughs> like, guys, I figured it out. 
just just freeze some apple juice and you'll have Disney at home. It's not awesome. The biggest question now, will we make it to the last? We didn't make it. Obviously. Now you may be thinking, Tyler, I remember distinctly seeing you in front of that ship in your old clothes. Yeah, it's called movie magic. Uh, or YouTube magic. I don't I don't know how, <laughs> how it would be classified, but yeah, I just look, I've got the hat with me. Like I just I just changed. I haven't even recorded that part yet. But we're about to record it after we go get our drink. This was our first time going to Oga's Cantina and we uh, we had a few questions, like one, why did it say this was a drink online? And two, why did they clap for us when we walked inside? Okay, okay, that, uh, that, that wasn't for us. But the biggest question now is, what were we gonna get to drink now that ours didn't work out? It doesn't matter. I'm sure Anna gets it now. Okay, um, I get it now. Told you. I get why everybody's been telling us that we need to go to Oga's Cantina because that is so cool. The atmosphere in there is awesome. And of course the theming, like everywhere in Galaxy's Edge is incredibly well themed. So of course that is no exception. Uh, we were a little misinformed when we first went in there though. So the first thing that we ordered was Oga's Obsession and it's not a drink. Um, it's jello with like boba in it and then pop rocks on top and it's cotton candy flavored, which kind of sounds gross on paper, but it tasted so good. It shocked both of us. And since it wasn't a drink, we did order the Java juice and it was really good too. It mostly tasted like orange juice and then it has a couple other fruits in there like pineapple and kiwi and cantaloupe. And then it's got some boba on top. And like Tyler said earlier, if theming plays a part in it, then that one definitely gets some extra theming points. And boom, just like that. Movie magic, I'm in the outfit I was in yesterday. Was it washed? That's for you to decide. It was washed, because it was absolutely yeah, it was nasty. Yesterday it was so hot. I don't think we ever mentioned that, but it was really, really hot. But, what you've all been waiting for, the definitive rank. These, this ranking, we have had time to deliberate. Uh, we've had time to process this. We, we even slept on it, um, not on purpose. We ran out of time yesterday, but the rankings. In first place, we have frozen butterbeer. Yep. In second place is LeFou's Brew. Uh, yeah, if that thing had more of that toasted marshmallow, we may have had an upset on our hands. Number three is the Night Blossom. Number four is the Pumpkin Juice. In fifth place, we have Java Juice. And in sixth place is the Awesome Drink. And there it is, six of the best drinks from six of the however many theme parks are here in Orlando. <laughs> I'm not really... Sure, if you disagree, we'd love to hear because honestly we kind of winged it except for Butterbeer. That one is the best. If you want to see our video from the Minions Cafe, make sure to check out this video right here. And I have one more question. Did you even notice that we came back over here to film the outro at Islands of Adventure? Okay, bye. Bye.